Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel, or if you haven't seen this series before, what I do is once a week, every Wednesday, I go through all of the new beauty releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if everything's a total washout. I have a whole playlist of these videos. If you would like to binge watch, I'll throw that playlist up into the cards, but let's go ahead and jump straight into our new releases. I want to start with this MAC palette. MAC is coming out with the Rose Gilded palette, which has 10 shades, three different finishes, and uh, it looks like a mini version of that Huda Beauty palette. Honestly, I think I only own one or two MAC palettes, and they're the Tiny Nine Pan palettes. And then I picked up a bunch of single shadows. They're all the green shadows I have in like my custom MAC palette. Speaking of, um, I am going to be doing a part two of my um, swatch party for green shadows because I have picked up a couple palettes and I realized I missed a couple of palettes in that video. So there will be a part two coming at some point. I just have to find an afternoon to sit down and like swatch them all. <laughs> but uh, anyway, back to the point, I don't really own a lot of MAC shadows, uh, especially palettes. I think they're kind of overpriced for what you're getting considering the fact that you can get the same thing from ColourPop and it might even be a little bit better. Like, I, I think MAC shadows are overhyped. And I think that this palette is just meh. So Pat McGrath is gonna start dropping like these single eyeshadows and there's no price on here. And you know what? I don't even wanna know how much these are gonna cost because mm. Zoeva is coming out with a new spring 2019 collection. It's called the Melody Collection. Zoeva used to be like on my list of brands I wanted to try, but quite honestly, nothing caught my eye. <laughs> I, I looked on their website. I tried to like go through and pick a palette or something, but it honestly like I didn't want anything. Like, and this palette is just neutral with a pop of purple. Neutral with the pop of purple. I will say that mirror actually looks really cute and I kind of want the mirror, but I'm not going to place an indie makeup order just for a mirror. I have mirrors. <laughs> okay, again, I'm going to just express my confusion as to why these eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, dang, as to why these uh, eyeglass collabs keep popping up in my makeup feed. Why is Chen Mood reporting on these? It's not even like, I, I could understand it before if they were beauty influencers collabing, but it's JLo and A-Rod collabing on sunglasses. Why? She's got a, does she have a deal with the company? <laughs> uh, anyway, I don't get it. I'm not the kind of person who would ever spend more than $10 on um, sunglasses because I throw them around. I throw them in my purse. They're just like... They're very functional. I don't buy sunglasses to be like fashionable. That might just be me, but I would never spend more than $10 and not nearly to like the 55 to 60. No. Whew. Stila is coming out with these new big eyeshadow palettes. And I like the idea of them coming out with bigger palettes like this. Cause I've heard great things about like their smaller palettes. I've never personally tried out eyeshadows from Stila, but Nah, neither of these color stories are calling to me. Like, I really like, like, one shade from each palette, but I'm not gonna buy the palette for one shade, especially when they're $52. And they're limited edition anyway, they're gonna come and go... <laughs> they think this is gonna work. <laughs> okay, so going back to a palette, like, I know I'm already gonna buy... This is the Affinity 2 palette. It's the green-blue palette from Certify. It's available for pre-order. It doesn't ship until April 18th. I was kind of just going to hold out and buy it when it was actually available, but now I'm thinking, should I just do the pre-order? Should I? I think I'm going to, just to like ensure that I have it and then it'll ship. I'm gonna, as soon as I finish filming this, I'm gonna jump online and pre-order it. Let's just get it over with. I am so excited for this palette. Like, ah. <laughs> Whew. I wanna do a really detailed video on this palette too because it'll be my first certified palette and it's gorgeous. So I really wanna do like three looks, one palette, like the, the whole shebang. So it might take me a bit to do it, but oh, I can't wait. 
So it looks like Milk is coming out with a waterproof version of their Kush Mascara. Now I remember back in a weekly wow I kind of talked mad trash about this and then I tried a sample of the mascara and I was incredibly impressed and I loved it. I'm not a huge fan of waterproof versions of mascara. I tend to find that they really just clump and don't work well for me. But due to how much I loved that mascara, I would be willing to try this one out. Along that same vein, I also see that they have the Kush Brow Gel. It's the same price as the new ABH Brow Gel, so honestly I'm like kind of torn between if I want to try the milk or if I want to try the ABH. They're both $18. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm just about to run out of brow gel, so I need to buy a new brow gel because I'm like almost completely out. I'm like scraping the tube right now. So maybe this weekend I'll see if maybe I can pick one or the other up. But since they're the same price, I wasn't sure which one to go for. Honestly, kind of leaning towards milk. Ooh, okay. This might be it. Melt is coming out with a new stack, and this is the Melt Shape Shift Stack. Now, nah, those gorgeous Whew. it's gonna be available march 29th i hope this is a permanent item in their collection i really wanted to try out the melt stacks i've heard nothing but good things about them but i've never been able to find a stack that like i could commit to this is definitely going to be a um it's not an all-in-one palette of course this is definitely something you bring in to accentuate other looks but the shades are gorgeous think I'm gonna do it. So I pretty much almost glossed over this picture of the new YSL summer collection without really looking at it. But then I zoomed in and they've got a palette with some greens in it. It's tiny. It's a it's really tiny. So I don't think I would ever actually pick it up. But I'm kind of glad I took a look at it. Like I'm glad to see like bigger brands, more luxurious brands going for green shadows. Like it just makes my little green heart happy. This one, uh, okay. So this palette I believe is mostly shimmers. Like I can only def like definitely see one matte in this palette. This is the, I don't even know what this is. This is the 90s Baby Eyeshadow Palette from Shop Peachy Queen. It, it honestly seems like someone blindfolded through this palette together. Nothing's cohesive, nothing is... I guess maybe that's the point, but there's nothing that makes me want to get this palette. Ugh. I was a 90s baby, born in 92, but... What? So Pixi is coming out with like a whole bunch of new products all at once and I actually found one of the new products in my local Target. Which is rare because my Target like never stocks anything. I picked up, it's like a combination eyeshadow and face palette. This is the Hello LA Angel palette. And it's just like a neutral shadow palette with some face powders down here on the bottom. I've really been wanting to do more videos on Pixie and hopefully eventually a full face of Pixie. So I'm slowly working my way there. And this is actually my first eyeshadow palette slash face palette from the brand. All right, so they revealed the BH Cosmetics and It's My Ray Ray Palette collab. And I am actually pretty intrigued. I'm actually pretty intrigued. I'm not super drawn towards those purples in the middle, but the green, the yellow, the red, this palette, the swatches, I, I am just staring at the swatches for all of eternity. This palette looks gorgeous and I actually really want it. <laughs> so Tom Ford is coming out with a summer collection and I've only tried one product from Tom Ford and it was like a mini sample of their lipstick. I'm trying to remember, I think it was in the shade Indian Rose. I remember falling in love with it and then like having to put it away and not use it because I didn't want to have to spend over $50 on a lipstick. But I did love that lipstick. So I feel like I'm pulling myself back from this brand because I feel like for the most part it's kind of overhyped and really overpriced. Especially like if you look at these swatches. Like if I want a sheer product like that, maybe it's worth it. But like looking at this, I cannot bring myself to spend how much money that's going to be on those. Alright, does anyone else think that 
Jaclyn Hill cosmetics was just overhyped for too long and drawn out, and now she's just teasing it again. Part of me, if Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics ever does come out, part of me is just going to be so curious that I would want to try out anything lipstick or eyeshadow related. The other part of me is like, okay, it's been years, you've thrown out collab, 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 and half of them haven't worked out that great. So, it's, it's, uh, I'm torn. I'm torn. Part of me thinks like, oh, she's just teasing it again. It's not actually going to happen. You don't even have to worry about it. The other half of me is like, if it does come out, what are you going to do? I really want to hear your opinions on this. I am personally torn. I feel like it's been way too long and she's kind of missed her mark on when this kind of brand should have been released because you can start small and build your way up, but yeah. Yeah. So let me know what you think about Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics, if you think it's actually going to come out, if you're going to get anything when it actually releases, and what you want to see from the brand. The Balm is coming out with a few more palettes, and these are from the Auto Balm Collection. And they're eyeshadow palettes that are, the packaging is adorable. They look like uh, license plates. It's cute as hell. I was actually looking into the deeper of the palettes, the Day to Night palette. It's got like a black primer shade and then you're supposed to like layer all those other shades on top of it. That one actually looks pretty cute. I was thinking about that one because I think the face powder, those shades look way too orange for me. The girl powder, whatever. The Pick Perf is just a neutral palette, but Day to Night has some interesting qualities to it, so I'm looking into that one. So switching over to Indie Makeup Spotlight, there wasn't anything recently that has really like caught my eye. Um, I did see this palette, it's called the Remember Me palette, and it's like super clearly supposed to be like Coco, but something tells me they don't have a collab with Disney and it's not, like they're, they're walking a fine line here, right? I mean, it does look kind of like a pretty palette. I have never heard of the brand Shop Amore. So I have no idea what the quality would be like. It's just a rainbow palette, but it, it did catch my eye that it's like, that looks like Coco. <laughs> Other than that, I do see Certify has been photoshopping another possible palette. This one is just a uh, more pink, red, neutral. It, it's just it looks a lot like all the other kind of warm neutral palettes that we have, especially Modern Renaissance, so I'm not leaning towards this one, but 100% going for that blue-green palette. So I'm going to leave it there for this week's weekly wish list or washout. I gotta go get dressed and go catch my train. Let me know down below what you thought of all these products. If there's anything that I missed that you want my opinion on, also let me know down below. Thank you again for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.